How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again. Today we're doing a different kind of video for everyone. We're doing a bit of an interview series starting off with Infinite Forges, who is a content creator here on YouTube, who has been doing some amazing forge work that I think you absolutely do need to check out. Uh, so Alex, why don't you say hello? What's up everybody? Kevin, thanks for having me, man. I uh, appreciate coming and taking up the time out of your day to come by and chat about some Halo and some you know, content creation forge greatness. Uh, if you guys don't know Infinite Forges, he's a guy who's been pretty much going around and pretty popular recently because he recently put together a Battle Royale map within Halo 5. I played it, some other content creators like Sean W, uh, even uh, Unishek played it with us as well as uh, Halo Follower as Halo well. Halo Follower. Yeah, yeah. And some, yeah. Other, and some other notable people as well within the community. And honestly, like we had a great time playing it, wouldn't you say? Man, that was actually some of the most fun I've had in Halo 5 custom games in, in a while because you got that intense like anxiety at the end right that that I haven't really got in a matchmaking mode in a while right it's like when you're down to the wire it's you and one other, one other guy maybe he's got the high ground it's just there's a lot of elements of BR that got captured in that mode that are, are really unique and um, that definitely stood out to a lot of people and, and it was definitely a blast yeah for sure I, I loved it yeah, it's like I haven't really played a whole lot of custom games within Halo 5. I kind of like to use a custom game browser and play like, you know, games for like warm up when I want to get into like Arena or Team Slayer and stuff like that. But uh, this was actually like a ton of fun. Like I actually really enjoyed myself. And, you know, a lot of people are very much against uh, Battle Royale being in Halo because of like it falling in a trend and stuff like that. But honestly, like it kind of worked. Like it really did. I mean, it. It does work, and that's the thing. Like, I'm an OG Halo fan, man. I, I've been mm -hmm. playing since CE. Same. I've been around for like Same. 20 years, right? <laughs> so, like, uh, I'm in my I'm in my later 20s, and the thing is, like, I I'm willing to look at a franchise that's been around for 20 years and say, hey, you either evolve or you die. You know, it's like you have to progress in some way, and maybe BR is not the way most people see progression. Uh, maybe they saw progression with the movement mechanics and we're like no 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 no. just give us back what we once knew and and i feel like in infinite <clears throat> there's been a lot of elements that have returned to classic you know you've seen the weapon pickups or sorry the um uh ability pickups right like the mm -hmm. halo 3 ability pickups uh you you see the different even art stars. styles and mechanics and yeah the the gameplay you saw that it was it felt more classic so there's a lot of a lot of things specifically his armor right so like yeah. I think they're going to find a balance with this next game. And if they ever did include a Battle Royale, uh, I, as long as it doesn't interfere with the core aspect of the game's multiplayer, right? If it's just the mode, I don't understand how that would be a negative. I feel like that's only more potential possibilities for something that is new in the Halo universe. I mean, I could only see it as something that expands and, and you know doesn't really um, degrade the game if it's just the mode. So yeah. that's that's been my stance. Yeah, I feel like more people are more concerned about taking away dev time and resources from what is core to Halo. And but of course, mm -hmm. what's core to Halo is ultimately actually kind of subjective and right? objective. I mean, obviously, you need to get your four v four like Slayer mode down, but like every shooter has like a team deathmatch like mode, mm -hmm. like Slayer and stuff like that. So you need to get that kind of stuff down. Uh, but I think that's kind of the main thing. I've always kind of held true that like or held strong to the belief that if they went like the uh, Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone route where they released the Battle Royale like, you know, four or six months after the release of the initial game. Just to kind of regenerate some hype about the franchise and also kind of, you know, worry, you know, lower down some fears of people who would want that more core Halo experience on launch. Yeah, it's because I, I agree. I think this is how it's going to actually play out. I think Infinite is going to be a mix of every game but it's going to harpen back let's say six i think it's about going to be like a ratio of 60 40 where it's going to be 60 percent of the classic nostalgic elements right story emotion armor you know customizations weaponry movement all that stuff but then the 40 percent of that is going to be like the grapple hooks it's going to be the slide features it's going to be the clamber features it's going to be different elements that are pushing the game forward that would attract an audience such as Fortnite players and whatnot to the Halo universe, which at the end of the day is only good for the people that really love the franchise because that is the only thing that keeps the game relevant as, as, as much as people would hate to hear that. That's the truth. Yeah. And, you know? I, and also I would think like, I kind of mentioned this in my commentary about that leak about Fortnite that 
if you're gonna put Halo stuff in Fortnite, you'd probably want a game mode that's in Fortnite that could easily bring people over. Being a battle royale, it's all all of this is just is is been it's just business. Where's the attention, and where are the people that have interest aligned to the um the the desire for the service that our product is going to offer? So like. If they were doing something similar to Doom, right, in Halo, then they would promote it through Doom. If they were doing something similar in Halo Infinite with Call of Duty, they would promote it with Call of Duty, right? Yeah. Like, there's something about Fortnite that is similar to what Halo Infinite's big mode is going to be like. Therefore, they're just aligning their interests, right, or their product with their interests. That's that's all it really comes down to. So that's that was a big, in my opinion, that was a big reveal Without yeah. it actually being oh, yeah. a quote unquote reveal of where their intention and their attention is. I think you know? so as well. No, I've seen a, like, mm-hmm. a lot I've seen a lot of comments saying that like why not just give people in Forge the ability to create a battle royale? You've created a mm-hmm. battle royale in Forge. What would you say is to that statement? I think that it's it's awesome that we have the ability to create something that advanced. I mean, mm. you gotta think about it. The fact that you have such a limited feature, which is it's definitely limited when you compare it to other map creators out there. But for for what it is, it's incredible that Halo Five was able to deliver on such a such a tool, right? For map making. However, it's definitely not easy. It takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of effort. And I I do believe that it's incredibly cool that we have the opportunity. But nothing is really going to match the quality of something dev made. I feel like. It'll be fun as a custom game. It'll be good for implementing ideas. It'll be good for pushing forward a, a narrative or a desire, right, for a certain game mode. But I don't know if it's if it will ever. I, I actually know for a fact it would never compare to <laughs> a three four three created um, big team experience, right, or 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 BR experience. So I I think that in the next forge, just like in this forge. We're going to see an evolution of certain of, of, of certain tools that we got prior, and that only means that if we don't get a BR, uh, actually, me and Hitbox, we we plan on actually creating another version of this if there is not a battle royale, um, and that's going to be one of the first things that we work on. Oh yeah, and it's going to be massive, and it's going to be truly expansive, and if we get AI in there, uh, in that in that forge, we'll include AI, uh, we'll make it a objective based thing. It's going to be very insane and and to answer your question really i just i i think it was just what do you think about the ability to be able to create it it's true you can create it i mean you can go out and actually i think hitbox unknown on his file share actually has um yeah he does he has an entire br prefab so if you wanted to make your own map right now you probably could um so it's it's all there the ability is there but I only think that it's going to get better, and the next BR, the next version of this in Infinite, is going to be something truly immersive. Yeah, because so, I, I know you I'm mentioned excited. when you're making this that you really came across an issue of the item limits that you put into it, and like you had to remove some geometry to be able to randomize some weapon drops and things like make it function like a battle royale. There's a lot of limitations, yeah. and when it comes to the scripts, and when it comes to just what Halo Five isn't as that engine can handle. Uh, we were really pushing it with with Halo Five with, with this with this specific thing that we did with this battle royale, severely pushed it to its limits. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> did. I, I remember it playing like it. There were quite a few spots where like frame drops would happen, but that's just because like at such a large scale with so much geometry, that Forge can only be optimized so well to be able to run properly. Where like a dev made version, you could definitely kind of tweak some things and like draw distance and stuff like that within the mode itself to make it run properly. Yeah, my last point to that though is I think Halo would be one of the most interesting and fun battle royale experiences if that ever happens. Oh yeah, because of the fact that it's it's when you played it, you were skeptical, right? I mean, I felt like for a long time that Halo would work really well with battle royale, but obviously you don't really know how well it works until you actually play it but when you played it the one big thing that i got from everyone is like dude i was skeptical and i actually love this because the vehicles the gameplay the weaponry everything about halo is literally designed for that type of experience but i I just feel like it'll be a missed opportunity Mm -hmm. but we can move on from this point if you want (laughs) (laughs) yeah so i kind of want to go into a little bit of some of the stuff you've, you've created to kind of showcase like how awesome your fortune because we've been talking about it a lot but i wanted to show it in the video as well here 
to kind of just showcase mm -hmm. like some of the stuff you created. Uh, one thing I wanted to showcase was the recreated title screen that you made for Halo Infinite. And it's like spot on like Halo 5 Forge, but it looks like the demo title screen from that we saw in the uh, demo trailer for Halo Infinite. Right. I was wondering like, how did you kind of go about creating that one? Because that's like almost like a frame by frame perfect. Did you have like overlay something on it or like what happened there? I, I literally pulled up a YouTube video. I paused it and then I just, I built everything from that one image. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was it. I just, I, I, I knew that there's two trees off to the left. I knew there was a mountain off to the right. Um, or sorry, mountain in the center, right? And even if there's, there's a lot of detail in there, it's like if, if you look at the skybox, right? Mm -hmm. I had to I had to find a skybox that had the pink and blue right uh, in, in the background, kind of like the sunset vibe, right, or sunrise vibe. Yeah, like the color tones are and, like exactly the same. Crazy. Yeah, and that's what I that's what I looked for, and I found that on the title canvas, and and I built specifically in that direction for that. So I try to get the trees, the landscape, the lighting, um, the teleport features. I try to get everything pretty much as close as i can i think the only thing that was off was the fact that the angle was a little off that was it it was just maybe i had to tilt it down a little bit more like the camera angle but apart from that everything was just and dude i built that in in i think it was like two and a two two and a half hours mm -hmm. or something like that yeah, <laughs> so it was relatively quick. But yeah. You've made some pretty cool, like, Halo Infinite related Forge stuff that I really wanted to showcase. Or, like, uh, this also map, uh, you made a map called uh, Dismantle, which right, uh, right. looks very Infinite uh, inspired. So I kind of wanted to see, like, how would, was forging this one kind of compared to, like, forging, like, any other kind of map you've made? Because there's a lot of, like, weird geometry with this in a way. I want to see like how you can get, I'm sure you probably played on it, so I want to see how how it worked out. Yeah, so I mean, for that one specifically, I, that was one of the first I, I I built when I got onto Halo Five, and that was a lot of fun because of the fact that I I, I wanted to utilize the clamber feature to the max of its ability. You you can oh, literally yeah, you can get to any that. point in that map, <laughs> <laughs> any point in that map, you can clamber up anything. And I kind of wanted to just make it like a playground for people to just go do whatever they want. Story behind Dismantled is that you're actually fighting inside of a dismantled aspect of a Halo ring, right? That's why that entire thing is, um, you know, like in Halo Wars 2, where they lift the, the part of the, mm -hmm. the, the ring up into, into space. That's essentially what that was, and, and it was inspired by the Halo Infinite initial cover, right, where he's in the Pelican and you see the ring dismantling in the back. That's what that was inspired by. So basically you're fighting inside of the ring, an aspect of it that just, uh, a part of it that just got lifted up into space. And when you look around the map, you actually see that there's certain parts of the ring that are floating, quote unquote. And you see a few uh, forerunner pillars, like the beam emitters around. And I just wanted to create an environment that, in my opinion, at that time was the closest that I could build to we are fighting in a destroyed area of a ring, you know, mm -hmm. on, on, on Zeta Halo. And uh, some little more Halo, Halo Infinite stuff I also wanted to showcase here was Jaga's Lair. You literally made this like in one day right after they announced like Jaga and like he's yeah. a really cool like science shadow kind of cyborgy kind of elite which and he's gonna be in Halo Infinite which is awesome and you made like this late Jaga's lair right is what you called it and it just mm -hmm. looks so cool and you just like literally made it within like a day like what kind of like inspired you to make this one besides obviously being Jaga like what kind of made you feel like this is what his lair would look like see i have no context to what this character is yeah. i have no idea who he is where he's from i know no lore about this guy and i simply just said to myself i was like all right if i'm gonna create something might as well create something if you're looking at the trailer right now it's like mm -hmm. there's certain mechanic piece like mechanical features that are on that map um and you can look around and see that but you also see it's it's like this um the the glass hallway that's kind of got sand all over it and and I don't know how to necessarily describe it but you're seeing the trailer you see that there's certain parts of this this map that just look mechanical so I knew that he was partly mechanical or like a cyborg 
So I wanted to implement that. And I just thought a layer is cool for like a cave, something saying Healy, right? Like I, I wanted to combine the two, like a cyborg and a saying Healy. So in that mm -hmm. map, I just created a very unique cave looking area and, and just put some mechanical pieces in there and pulled it all together. And it, it actually is like, how can I describe this the right way? Where you see the the phantom, right? I almost wanted that to be his area where he gets docked off. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's that's essentially what that was. And then he walks straight into his, you know, his lair where he has his massive seat by the pillars and all that, and and, and a sword, right? Yeah, that throne area was I just so cool. Was, <laughs> yeah, I just, I just thought it was. I just thought it was something that was organic. Everything just kind of flowed, and I said, what would kind of make sense, and and that's what I came up with. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's and I actually just realized that this was a functional map. This isn't like an aesthetic map. This is something like you can actually play on, and oh know, yeah, for sure, beat your friends up in. Yeah, which yeah, is always for a sure. good time, right? And uh, I also want to touch one more map that you made. I thought was really cool. I mean, the video that you made on it was awesome, and I had to share this. But it was you made a Doom theme map as well. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the honestly to, to to be honest. I think that is the one that takes the cake. For all the maps that I've ever made, really, um, I you know yeah personally for me because it's it's so much fun. I mean, if you have a, a newer Xbox, you won't get frame rate issues on it. But if you have an older one, you most likely will. It's it's a very detailed map. There's once again designed for fun, designed for chaos, just designed for um, like a Halo Doom mashup experience, right? And mm -hmm. you know, w when you're looking around this map, you see different elements of lava. You s you see that you're in this massive canyon um, that that's very hellish. Uh, you have weaponry that is just <laughs> it's like it's it's just chaos. You know, you got saws, you got Norfangs, you've got rockets that shoot three rockets at a time. You've you've got teleporters on each side that um. Or not teleporters, sorry, you got lifts on each side that take you to the center that when you get to the center, you see a giant elite, right, that has a robot um, arm. That yeah, that's all that. that was so like cool. A missile launcher. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it, it, I, my main purpose with every single map that I've ever created is how far can I take it? How immersive can I make it? Um, and that's, that's, that was, to me, a map that I truly cherish, that I love, because I think the trailer also was just, very badass you mm -hmm. know so i'm that's happy what, with that one. that's one fun thing you can do with like a doom styled map is that you can just kind of like turn everything up to 10 you know yeah freaking halo <laughs> and halo you have to kind of keep it like within the realm of like you know possible reality kind of thing but like when it comes to doom you just go we'll just throw that all the window what can we make this most badass thing possible and so now i also kind of want to rotate a little bit into some other kind of content you create you're not just a forge guy you on your channel you do make some other things as well like you've made a uh, like a halo infinite concept art breakdown video you've made a video actually saying that you're grateful for three or four three which i'm sure a lot of people could be how dare you you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. and he also made a yeah, video sure. called a weekly message series kind of a uh, thing so I want to touch on a little bit on like why make videos beyond just forge on your channel. I don't know. I I just want to test. To be honest, if if your audience right here for whoever's still watching, you know, <laughs> however long this is in, um, you know, if you do, if you go over in my channel and you watch the different stuff that I do, I I'm big on positivity. I'm I'm big when it comes to first of all forge. I want to create experiences people haven't experienced before. I want to push the boundaries. I want to make something that that makes you say, wow. Right. Um, and that's one of my big things. And, and I want to keep putting trailers out and like, just have a really great time with that and, and, and expand what could be done or thought could be done in, in forge. But when it comes to like that, I'm grateful for three, four, three, I, I think that, you know, these are human beings too. They, these people wake up every single day. They're trying to create an experience for people. Right. And yeah, they're getting paid for it. It's their job. It's their, it's their mission. Right. I, I don't believe that for people that have been this consistent and this this open to hearing what the the, the community has to say, um, more so than they have in the past, right? Deserve the the hate that they're getting. Mm. I, I I want to provide some insight to some gratitude that I have for uh, people that didn't just give up on the series after five. You know, people that are willing to put out a product like MCC, which was a great idea that flopped in the beginning, but then they had the tenacity to, to push through and, and create a solid product at the end, right? Like, 
there's there's a lot of respect that's got to come into play for that. I mean, a lot of us don't even know what amount of work goes into that, right? Just like a person to person standpoint, I I just want to give respect. You know, yeah. it's because I know that th- it must be an incredible amount of work, and that that also, mind you, doesn't mean that I'm just always going to be positive. You know, like if I see something that I genuinely think is wrong, you know, I'm not just riding the wave of three four three. Like, yeah, that, I, uh, I, that's one thing I, I wanted to bring up too. It's not like not like you're trying to be like a blind positive person and just trying to make everything sound great. Like if something does genuinely sound bad. Like you're gonna call it out, but you want to focus more on being a <clears throat> positive aspect to the community rather than someone who's known for making more negative kind of things or more being or just being like rightfully critical rather than you know a shill or just a hater. You know? Yeah, exactly. I just I lean on positivity more, but that's that's why with the weekly message, I don't, I don't know if you listen to that or not. That was a very basic message for me. Um, I put that out simply because once again, I just want to test if if you guys love seeing forge maps that's awesome but if you love seeing weekly messages i love doing that and if you want to see more breakdowns of like sound design or 343 or you know whatever the situation may be i don't, I don't ever want to pigeonhole myself especially with a name like infinite forges yeah you know but it, it's it's definitely when the game comes out it's going to be forge focused but throughout all of it i i don't i don't see a, a, a something that could be negative we're just testing different ideas you know if people like it or not i could stop one thing do another you know so i just kind of tried a few things yeah and especially if there's no battle royale at the launch of halo infinite and you guys make a battle royale within like opening week and it works well and plays well i could see some good success coming your guys's way for sure. you know i also kind of want to touch on a little bit of like, extra things as well as and since we're talking about halo infinite we're talking about forge and stuff like that what are some of the things that you would like to see be brought into Halo Infinite's Forge. Like we do know that there's gonna be an undo and redo button, which I'm sure is gonna be a life like a game changer for you right there when it comes to Absolutely. putting Forge together. Yeah. Uh, but what kind of like new things would you like to see come in the for Halo Infinite's Forge that you think that they could definitely pull off with this one? Okay, so that's a that's a great question. And and um, if you're gonna clip anything, you should probably clip this because I I think that when it comes to Halo Five, right? Look at the things that they implemented, maybe not initially, but they, they definitely got to because the community requested it, right? They brought in bodies for the first time ever, right? Like mm. the bodies that you could place on the maps. There's certain evolutions of the tools that I think are going to take place in Infinite, and I believe one of those is the bodies, and those bodies are going to become AI, right? Mm-hmm. I personally believe that. They tried doing AI with Forge in Halo 5, and the thing is it just was not computing wasn't happening right maybe it's due you're to space i don't know the you're saying it was like, so like uh some cut content you're saying for hate for halo Five's forge i i think it was a it was an idea it was something that they wanted to do but i don't know if you know halo 5 just had the power to do that I, I don't know the specifics of it but i do know one thing's for certain is that they were definitely thinking about that and i think that with a new engine this is something that is likely not certain but that is likely to appear in the next forge, right? So I would I would say AI is an evolution of the bodies that we saw, and then when you see grass and 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 the little square glass uh, like um, grass pieces and the flowers and all that, right? All of that will be evolved, I believe, into kind of like a like a paintbrush tool of sorts, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe something more efficient than that, where it doesn't necessarily take up the object count, but maybe the amount of space that you have of, of things that you can create, like the amount of memory that you could put on a map, amount of, um, I don't know, detail that you could put on a map. But I don't think they're going to be square pieces anymore. I think they're going to be pieces that you can actually just paint on and, and easily create. When it comes to landscape, we got these massive blocks, right? I, I do believe that those may stay where it's just large landscape pieces. However, I do believe it'll also evolve into something that is easily manipulated where you could basically just scan over an empty canvas and say, hey, I want to create a mountain range here. And you can create a mountain range. Yeah, right? I think I saw something very similar with like uh, Far Cry 5 did that where you can actually like, yeah, paint on different textures. Uh, you can change the elevation of certain terrain, stuff like that, but just like lowering and raising and things like that, right? Yeah, and uh, and everyone, everyone, it's not wrong because it's probably the closest thing to what we desire to have. Uh, not all of us, but most of us is Far Cry Five, but I think something along those lines. Probably mm-hmm. not specifically that, but along those lines. 
And lastly, I one of my biggest features is dynamic weather. Like I just want weather that changes, that can evolve, that can be scripted to basically go from sunny to stormy halfway through a match. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. and like I don't know if that's even possible. I don't know how complex that is, but I do know that we had certain elements in Halo 5 where you could do a, a, a low, medium, high snow, rain, you know, um, orbs, dust, all that stuff. So, like, there's there's been a, a, a beginning phase of the evolution of how intense weather can be. I think that just like there is real-time lighting in Halo Infinite, I think there's going to be some, you know, real-time weather as well, if that's even what they call it. But, you know, it's something along those lines. That's what I personally would like to see. And, and the last thing is, I hope that we still are the Forge Ball, but we don't have limitations to where we can go on the map, like kill boundaries. Because if you're a Forger, you know that when you hit that kill boundary and you die, you blow up as the Forge Ball. Oh, yeah. And it's <laughs> incredibly scary. <laughs> so, like, I hope that goes away. And yeah, maybe just have, like, your screen go right saying this is out of bounds, rather than, like, you're going to die in five seconds. You know? <laughs> yeah, man, it's the worst. <laughs> Yeah, it probably just, I'm sure it just kind of comes down to some copy pasting kind of, of scripting of just like the map geometry and things like that. But yeah, I could definitely see that being very frustrating to work around because, especially with the Forge and your creativity, you're going to want to explore the space, if you will, and uh, have come across kill barriers in the Forge while forging can be rather frustrating. And so, uh, another question I want to touch on is a suggestion for people starting out in Forge, uh, especially for me, at least from my experience that uh, Halo Fire's Forge is a whole nother beast of Forge. It's not just, you know, an extension of previous Forges. This is like, almost like a new starting off point for where Forge is going to be growing off of. And it's so new mm. and so different that from my experience, that like, it was overwhelming and I didn't really bother digging too much into it. So I was wondering if you had like maybe some suggestions, like what, what kind of got you into doing Forge and what could people create to kind of start out with to kind of maybe catch that bug when it comes to creating forge op- in or creating objects in forge? Some people have their creativity off the jump. Some people don't. And if you, if you don't and you struggle with it, just keep at it for as long as you're really interested in it and just see how you can evolve and, and become better naturally. Uh, guess, just practice. Yeah. And especially uh, if you're worried about getting any kind of usage, I mean, especially in Halo 5, you have the custom game browser and oftentimes people will just jump in and play a game with you just because they're searching as well. I mean, I made a bunch mm-hmm. of, I made a bunch of Forge maps back in Halo 3 and Reach. Never really got a chance to play them because you have to find people to jump into your custom game when you're online. It'd be pretty difficult to find. Um, but now you have like right. you have other communities out there. You have different websites dedicated like Forge Hub and stuff like that. You have different Reddit communities as well that are dedicated to you know Forge creation or just finding people who play Halo together and stuff like that. That's so another thing you could reach out to. You know, you got you can't just like Forge a map and then just call it good. Like you gotta can also kind of promote it, put it out there, and see if people like it. I mean, that's kind of how I found your content initially. I found it just being someone shared it like on Twitter. They liked it, and I was like, look at, I'm like, wow. That's pretty impressive, and visually, it's incredible. Like, I haven't seen anybody make any kind of like th- make Forge maps in a thematic way that you've been able to. Like, when I right. see like your Forge creations, I think they're super immersive, and I feel like that's what like Halo Infinite would look like, or that's what like Doom would look like, you know, or Jega's level, you know, Jega's lair and stuff like that. Like, they're you do a great job of just capturing the theme and feel of these uh different maps and stuff. yeah i haven't seen anything that's as immersive as you create i mean there's a lot of people that have made amazing forge maps as well but i think for the style i think it's hard to beat when it comes to your con- content but yeah it means a lot it does it <laughs> hey really man does. that's why i'm having you on a channel that's why we need to talk about you because you have some great stuff and i feel like you're not getting enough viewership or enough recognition yeah man i appreciate you know that one of the big things is i mean i'll just put it out here i don't know how possible it is or not but like once again for any of you that are watching this at 51 minutes so i think that's what it says on my end i i respect you guys i'm glad we added enough value for you to stick around but you know one of my big goals is i do want to grow the channel a lot before infinite i would like to reach at least somewhere around like the the five to to eight thousand right like i'm just going to put it out there let's say like ten (laughs) thousand because like when Infinite comes out, what I want to do is not only just promote my stuff, I, I want to make it a platform where a lot of creative people can finally get noticed. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, I want to make it because I, I, I know how much work goes into it, you know? 
And it's it's only fair that if I have a platform, right, that has been built by you and you and you and you, right, like all these different people and creators, I want to give back to it, right? So I, I, I hope for that, pray for that. And I think that'd be a really cool opportunity to showcase just more creative people in the community. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well, Infinite Forges, I appreciate coming on the channel here, man. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to chat about some uh, some content, just uh, stuff about Halo Infinite and stuff moving forward, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, where can people find your stuff on the internet? So on Twitter, if you want to go there, you can just type in Infinite Forges. You'll find me and all my content. And then YouTube as well. Infinite Forges is uh, all you got to look for. And uh, we should be good. Yeah, you and know, then uh, got your links in the description of the video as well. So highly suggest go give him a sub. Tell him, kill him, tell him, uh, Kevin sent you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for having me, man. I appreciate it. Hey, always, man. No problem. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone for checking out the video. Greatly appreciate it. Again, check out the links in the description down below. If you want to see someone else you would like to see us do an interview series with, you know, leave it in the comment section down below. Do read our comments, try to reply to most of them as well. Check out the videos on the screen. You've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.